just beginning. Truth be told, but I see. Good day. Good 
date. Things are looking up. Truth is... beginning.
What hurt? Well met. Come here. <laughs> Come again? <laughs> Shut up. Interesting. Shut up! Let's do it! You ready for this?
wants a rat it. Are we done here? <laughs> oh dear. Well, I'll be damned. Good to see you again. Come now. Got it. Don't let him get away. We should be safe here. Are you okay? In a manner of speaking, yes. But I'm afraid I'm not as young as I used to be. When I was your age, I never imagined time would wear down my bones so. You're saying an old man slipped this bangle onto my arm without me noticing? That was simply a skill I learned in my youth. But time will take even that from me eventually. Where did you learn how to do that? Butler training? <laughs> you were a thief, weren't you? Guilty as charged. Now it all makes sense. You're the one who set those traps in the manor, aren't you? You understand how a thief thinks because you were one. An astute observation. <laughs> I suppose I should explain myself. Would you humor this old man for a moment? I met Lord Ravis, Cordelia's father, before she was born. I was something like you at that time. Youthful gifted and proud of it. I was certain there was nothing in this world I could not steal. Then why are you working for the Ravis family now? For the same reason as yourself. I too snuck into the manor, only to get caught by the head of the household. He offered me a deal. He said he would not hand me over to the guards on one condition. That one day I would serve his child who would have guardianship over the Dragonstones. And now you're seeing that promise through to the end. The more confidence one has in his skills, the greater the disgrace when he fails. You felt the same. Did you not? Of course. Whenever I look at this bangle, I remember that day. Outdone by a butler. And an old one at that. And to add insult to injury, I was shown mercy by the very one I tried to rob. It was absolutely disgraceful. In the end, I had no choice but to start anew. Hmm. Even still, I gained more than I lost in the manor that day. Without taking a single leaf. Indeed, I learned what it felt like to be believed in, and the value of believing in others. <sighs> I'm sure you've heard the story of Miss Ravis's past. Yeah, hard to imagine seeing the person she is now. There was a time she thought the whole world was her enemy, 
She wouldn't let anyone get close. But as the days passed, she began to change. How so? I continued to have faith in her, and thus she learned to have faith in me. Wounds of betrayal run deep, but one must learn to have faith in others again before they can start to heal. And that is why she decided to have faith in you, too. Just like someone did for her. That's enough talk of the past. You must find a way to get those stones back from Darius. Me? Yes. Unfortunately, my old bones would be nothing but a hindrance if I accompanied you. But I have faith you can do it. <laughs> I'll come back with those stones. You have my word. Stay safe, Heathcote. Now to find where Darius is hiding. There's no way he covered all his tracks. <laughs>